One of the primary components of general mindfulness is something called checking and adjusting. So checking and adjusting happens on the basis of the other two primary components of mindfulness, which is primarily, firstly, having a direction or an intention. So in terms of uh, awareness of the breath meditation, the intention is to come into experience. And the second component is staying with the experience, keeping a continuity of presence, following the breath, being more sensitive to the sensations and feelings and coming closer into the breath. Checking and adjusting happens periodically where you just check, have any mind apps opened up in the background or have they taken you away completely? And if on the basis of checking you notice that a mind app has opened or that you've take, gone away to a train of thought, then that's when you do the, the checking. Is it helpful or unhelpful. If it's unhelpful and it's not in any way helpful to you or serve you, then you swipe it away, you basically say no. If it's uh, helpful but to something else, you put it as it were in memory. You just say later. And if it's uh, relevant to what you're doing, then you bring it in. You, but you, the main thing is that you're clear about things that are not helpful to your purpose at this moment. And you're basically saying no or later coming back. So this process of coming back has a number of qualities in its own right. One is that it's done gently, without self-chastisement, uh, but with determination gentle determination. You're just determined to keep coming back. Whenever your mind wanders, you're determined to come back. So you keep doing that and you're transforming frustration or the sense of defeat into determination and perseverance. So it's a, it's a very interesting process of transformation of something that is unhelpful like ah to determination and persistence. So you come back to coming into and experiencing the breath, staying with it, getting closer and closer into the experience, being more sensitive to all the surrounding sens sensations and feelings to do with the breath and the whole length of the breath. Every now and then you check. Have you not just gone away into thought, but have you become distant in the sense of the mind becoming and, and the awareness becoming dull, even sleepy? So you want to come closer to, into experience. So this is a very useful way of getting a sense of are you engaged? You have a sense that the breath is at the center but how close are you to it? You might be in the vicinity, you might have a general sense of it, but it might not be, you might not really be close and in it. So if, if it's just you're in the vicinity, you just come, you just in your mind, you just say closer, come closer into it. If you, it, you're getting more and more distant from it, then you need to stimulate your attention come back into it, open your eyes maybe, stimulate your uh, direction, stimulate your mind a little bit, it's worth it, come back, stay with it. So in this way, the sense of distance from your object uh, is something that you cultivate. Are you in it, close, or in the periphery, or far? Now given the example of mindfulness of the breath, but this could also be uh, experienced and practiced in terms of communication. Someone's talking. How 
close are you into the communication or is, are you a bit distant, a bit disengaged? Mindfulness is about coming into and being fully engaged in what is happening.